everyone, this is Ross, and in today's video, I wanna show you guys how to ship a tree. Um, ship it the right way so that it, it arrives safely and healthy and in one piece. Um, you know, you can certainly ship plants, and it's certainly something that a lot of you guys shouldn't be afraid of. Um, it's become very popular, especially bare-rooted trees, to ship them in the mail. A lot of larger nurseries do this now. Um, I've also got some strawberry plants in this little envelope here that we just dug up, put them in a nice little um, bread bag, as you can kind of see what this is right here. That's the exact same thing. Sealed the top here, wrapped it up nicely, and all that moisture is going to stay in here so that when I ship this first class, which should only take about um, to where it's going, maybe about three days, and it should certainly survive in the envelope and it'll make it there no problem. Um, you know, this is certainly going to get squished a little bit. The plants are pretty resilient. In terms of a tree, though, that's a potted plant, you don't want to be messing with the roots too much. We don't want to be smashing them too much. So that's where these boxes come in handy. And I like to really use United States Postal Service. Uh, it's definitely the cheapest that you're going to get. Um, and also, they offer free boxes. And this is the tube, the mailing tube that I like to use. It's the the small mailing tube. And this is perfect for trees because this tree is gonna be lying down flat in the box and it's the right length here for the tree. Um, some other boxes you can use, you can buy them yourself. You can get just a simple five inch by five inch box that's 36 inches long. The problem is those boxes really cost a lot of money but it's something you could do. I have a friend, Fruit Nut, Maybe you've seen his auctions on eBay. He'll have a box that's five inches by five inches, 36 inches long, and then he'll put that box into a larger box that's then six inches by six inches, and it creates another layer of box, another layer of protection. But it's pretty simple here. I mean, you really have to kind of come up with the size of the box and where you're gonna ship it and kind of come up with in your mind how much this is gonna cost. You know, it really gets pretty pricey when you use this kind of box and it's far away and it's real heavy. But most situations, you're gonna be paying around $15, $20 for shipping. Um, on a tree like this, it's a one gallon size pot. You know, this pot's four inches by four inches. So getting this to then, you know, finding the right box for this shape is really difficult. And this is just kind of what I use you can use all kinds of different boxes depending on what shape the, the, uh, the plant is, but let me put you guys down and show you guys how this is gonna be done. So the first step is obviously getting the pot in a plastic bag because then that seals the bottom if there's any excess moisture, which there certainly is. It rained last night. So these plants are really well watered in. That's certainly something you wanna pay attention to is water your plants well because if they're gonna be in the mail for about five days, which is not ideal, but it does happen. Right, um, I think it's priority mail here. It should take about two or three days and they guarantee it, I think maybe at five, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember exactly, but to be honest, it shouldn't be more than about five days, but there is the off chance that it will. It can take up to seven, it could take even longer. So you wanna make sure these things are watered in well. Without a doubt, these plants will survive that length of time in a box. If they're healthy enough, they have a strong enough root system, the other thing you need to pay attention to is the wood. If it's a freshly rooted cutting, the wood should be hardened up. If the wood's not hardened up, just completely forget about it. You're wasting your time. You're sending a pretty weak plant because if the wood's hardened up, the roots are hardened up. And if something happens up here, the roots are strong enough to re make something happen here so that this will re-sprout from the base and you'll have a nice, happy, healthy plant. So put the thing in the plastic bag so none of the moisture gets out. Seal the top here with some tape and then stick this in here in the box and have that situated. And then you're gonna come in here with a stake and you guys can literally, let me move this around so you guys get a better view, is that we're going to stick the stake in the pot all the way to the bottom so that this pot doesn't move around. We're gonna break it up here with our hands because we're, we're athletes. And, um, you know, we got ourselves situated, a plant that's really well situated in the box. It's not gonna flop around in here. It's not gonna break limbs. 
Another thing I like to do is come in here with the tape and go over it like this. And that way we can really seal this thing in place. Certainly what you wanna watch out for. I used to go over this numerous times, but I think the stake works really well keeping this thing in place. And then the last thing to do is just to seal up the box. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I wanna bring you guys on this side simply because the address I think is on the other side here. Yeah, good call Ross, good call. But anyway. Man, this is an absolute mess. Sorry for the camera work here, guys. But we're just sealing this box up. That's all it is. We get our tape, we come in here on the top, seal this in. And people really love tape jobs, man. They're really satisfied by when you use a lot of tape. <laughs> it looks like you put a lot of effort into this. Uh, even if you didn't really need to, people love that shit. So, you know, just a little word of advice for customer service. You want to score a little bit extra points, make it look like you put a lot of effort into this. When in reality, this, you know, if you get really good at this, really quick at this, you're doing a lot of these a week, yeah, this could maybe take you five minutes. Maybe even less than that. You get this down to a science, really speed this process up. So we sealed this part here going this way, but now we're gonna, we're gonna seal it going this way. I'm sure the tape is extremely loud. I also apologize for that, guys. And that is all it is, that's all it takes. We have this box sealed, this isn't gonna break, this isn't going to explode. I mean, nothing's gonna happen to the inside. The plant's situated in the box. Get a nice little shake, you can see that. And then we just have to seal the bottom and the top. And it's like a tube, it's a nice little triangle here. You can get yourself square boxes, but these are, I really like this box, I'm not gonna lie, it's free. The post office will ship the box to your house, you don't even have to leave your house to get the damn thing. Um, as long as you use it for post office purposes, I think you're good. I don't know what else you would even use this box for, to be honest with you. It's such a strange box, but it fits this purpose perfectly. So it kind of all starts out with, if you're really thinking about this seriously, it all starts out with the size of the pot you're gonna use. Because the size of the pot is gonna then determine what kind of box you have to have. And if you don't have the right size box for the, the, the size of your pot, it's just not gonna work. And then from there, you can develop a strategy that's based off of, you know, uh, you know, based off of the postage and how much all this is gonna cost. And then you can get a good idea of, you know, what this really is all gonna entail. If, you know, of course you're selling all this stuff, but this is helpful, I think, for any of you guys out there that are doing this as a hobby too, because we trade, we like to have many varieties, and that's it, so this is the box. Really well done, nice little shake. It's not going anywhere. You could even pound on it a little bit. I mean, this thing's gonna get kicked in for sure. This thing's gonna get smashed. Um, I haven't failed once yet, so. Doing it like that, I really think it's a, it's a foolproof method, and um, that's it. We still have uh, another few more plants actually to do. This one we bare rooted and actually it may be a bit too tall. So what I'm gonna have to do maybe is even cut it back, which is gonna be a bit of a shame. And I didn't imagine having to do this, but it doesn't fit the length of the box. So that's a bit of an issue. Um, in that situation, I need to contact the buyer and tell him, oh, you know, this is larger than I thought. It's not gonna fit. So um, the alternative is you get a bigger box. It's gonna cost more shipping. Uh, and you just make them aware of that. Or you could just take the hit and say, all right, well, uh, it's gonna cost more shipping, not even let them know, and just send it in a larger box. But uh, yeah, that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and we'll catch you all for the next video. Take care.